Speaking of getting out, many Argonians woke this morning and traveled to their favorite clearing, put on special glasses, and enjoyed the incredible spectacle that is October cloud cover. <laughs> yeah. Well, this is Eugene in the fall, after all. But I do hope some of you kind of glimpse through the gaps anyway. Again, my name is Brian Bull, senior reporter for Eugene's NPR affiliate, KLCC. And no, I have no tote bags on me. I mean, get rid of all It has come to our attention that everyone is carrying totes in theirs anyway. I need to Google what a tote is. Anyway, I will be your MC tonight as three dozen parade entries roll, march, or crawl by. Watching this all will be our panel of esteemed judges who I will take a few moments now to introduce. Our first judge is Tyler Burgess, who is author of the guidebook, Eugene and Springfield Townscape Walks. And Tyler walks and sketches the world. Moving on to our next judge, Ashley Wright is a musician, music teacher, and owner-operator of Emerald City Pedicab. She's been on the board and staff of Hunk Fest Eugene and loves Eugene for its vibrant street parties and all who show up to make it happen. Woo -hoo! Our third judge is Dr. Silky Booker. Silky J. Booker is an Air Force vet, community activist, philanthropist, and international radio show host. He created and founded the nonprofit King Silky's Blessing Boxes during the start of the COVID-19 pandemic and the Oregon wildfires in 2020 to help those facing food insecurity in Lane County. Our fourth judge, Judd Turner, is a professional sculptor who uses steel and repurposed material and works out of the Oblivion Factory Studio in West Eugene. You may know him from his public art installations along the Willamette River, such as the Chrome Heron, and in front of Nicassia Brewery, the Triceratops. Our other judge is Abigail Dolby, a local artist and drag king known as Ed Zackley. As a proud member of the LGBTQ, LGBTQ community, Ed combines artistic expression and gender performance to create entertaining ads. The market director of the Lane County Farmers Market. When she's not working, you can find her cooking and dancing with friends, reading comics, or being a silly goose around town. And finally, our last judge, but not least, is Melinda Preciado, our Miss Wheelchair Pacific Coast and former Miss Wheelchair Oregon. She's a mother of two and lives in Lane County. That is our judges lineup. Let's give a round of applause and get ready for that parade. While we're waiting for that first parade entry to materialize, I just want to give a shout out to Beam 2023 is produced by Art City in partnership with the City of Eugene Cultural Services and Eugene Slug Queens. Our Beam 2023 major sponsors are the Trail Group, the City of Eugene Transportation Department, Eugene Downtown Program Funds, Emerald Broadband, KLCC, McGree Creative Production Company, EugeneBeam.com, and Art City. So sit tight, and we'll let the parade start here in just a moment. that the sound of approaching music signals our first entry in the parade and that would be Eugene Mayor Lucy Venice <laughs> do we have contact I can't see through the crowd right now all right waiting visual confirmation here Folks, if we can have you uh, move back from the street, please. There we go. All right.
Features the Hesita Lead Lighthouse. Now there's no mistaking Vincent Price's delightful cackle. <laughs>